Hello everyone and welcome back. So in the previous video we have learned how to create a WebSocket client and connect to our WebSocket service or to our signaling server. In this video we will continue with creating a WebRTC client. To do that I'll create a new custom class called RTC client. And inside the constructor you will need a reference of our application and also a reference of our username and also a reference of our socket repository first thing that you need to do is to initialize your peer connection factory to do that I'll create a function call in its peer connection factory and it's going to get an application inside that I'll create a peer connection options as we'll take the peer connection factory initialize options method and call a builder and pass the application to it and after that I'll add some option to it set enabled internal tracer to true and set Build trials to webrtc h 264 high profile slash enable and then create initialize peer option. And after that, using my peer connection factory, I'll initialize and pass my options to it. So, in this way, we will initialize our peer connection factory and inside our ins block. I'll call this method so whenever this class is made this method is being called and after that I'll create a function to create my peer connection factory so it will return a peer connection factory to do that I'll return peer connection factory builder and add some property to it so I'll add video encoder and as video encoder factory I'll pass the default Video, video encoder factory and inside that you'll see you, you're gonna need an EGL context okay I'll create an EGL context here is equal to EGL base trait I'll pass it here in the next argument it's asking me if I want to enable the VP8 encoder I'll pass true and also for H264 high profile I'll also pass true and I'll set video decoder to default video decoder factory and also pass the EGL base context and also I'll set some options to it and pass peer connection factory options I'll create an instance of it and also I want to apply some other options so disable encryption equals to true and disable network monitoring to true and after that I'll create my peer connection factory and this one is video encoder factory and also I have to pass the base context from it and also here so right now I'll create a local variable of my peer connection factory to work with it I'll create it by lazy so whenever it's required it will be made so I'll create peer connection factory you can see it's a peer connection factory object so after that using this peer connection factory we're going to create a peer connection to do that I'll create a function called create peer connection and it's going to return a peer connection so I'll return peer connection factory create peer connection as you can see it's asking me I server and an observer which is an observer that notifies you that if an ice candidate is made or a stream is added to the connection or stuff like that so I have to pass it from the function so first thing you have to create your own I server so private well I server is equal to list of your connection i server that builder and will pass 
a stun server here in a second and we will create the ice server as you can see it's a list of peer connection ice server so to find the stun server or ice server you can open your google and search for best ice server so in the first link you'll see a full list of it so i'll copy this one and go to my uri i'll write stun colon and then the uri please make sure that you write in in the proper way so you won't get any problem so as the i server i'll pass my i server list here and for the observer i'll get this inside my function peer connection that observer and pass it here and also it can be null and i'll implement this observer inside my constructor so like that and then i will create my peer connection here peer connection by lazy and i'll call the function create peer connection and pass my observer here okay so far so good we have our connection here but let's move to our activity which is our call activity and you'll find two surface renderer like this one of them is our local view which is here and the other one is our main view or our remote view we have to initialize those and make them prepare to our calls okay to do that i'll create a function a public one not a private so i can use it inside my call activity after i create this instance and i'll call it initialize surface view and i will pass a surface view renderer as an input i have a typo error here so inside this method i'll use my surface and i want to enable hardware scalar to true and then set mirror to true and after that i'll init it i'll pass the base context or egl base context to it and as render event i don't want to listen anything so i'll pass the null to it so with this method your surface view renderer is going to be ready to preview a stream or show your camera as a local stream so in the next function i'll create an start local video function and this method is going to start streaming your camera inside the surface view to do that first you need a surface texture helper i'll use its own class and the create method it wants me a thread name i'll pass it like this and as the context i'll give it the egl base context and right now we need our video capture from webrtc sdk that start recording from our camera so to do that i'll create another private function here called get video capturer capturer it's going to get an application and it will return a video capturer so you'll return the camera to illuminator and pass the application to it and also i want to run i'll check if device names dot find any if it finds anything so create capture and pass the null as event handle otherwise throw the illegal state exception like that and inside here i'll create an object of it with the capture is equal to get video capturer and pass the application from the constructor to it and after that we'll start recording but first we need to initialize our video capture like this as a surface texture helper i'll pass it my own that i've created already and as the context you have to pass the surface context and as the capture observer we have to pass a video source we have to create a local video source using our peer connection factory 
to do that i'll write private val local video source by lazy and use my peer connection factory to create video source and pass false as screencast okay right here i'll pass local video source and get the capture observer after initializing i'll start recording using video capture start capture and pass the dimension of my video that i want to capture 320 240 and as the fps i'll pass 30 to it right after that i'll create a video rack using this local video source and pass it to our peer connection so to do that first let's create a local audio source as well and as the constraint i'll just pass a simple media constraint object let's go back here and create those videos and audio tracks to create a video track i'll write val local video track is equal to my peer connection factory create video track and as an id i'll give it local track and for the source for the video source we'll use our local video source and also i want my surface to run this video track that i've made so i'll use this video track and add sync to the surface after that i want to create my local audio track using peer connection factory create audio track and as id i'll pass local track underline audio and give my local audio source to it after that i want to create a local stream and pass it to my peer connection so to do that i'll create a local stream using my peer connection factory and as a label i'll give it local stream after that i'll add my both tracks local stream i'll give it audio track and local video track and after that using peer connection i'll add this stream and we're good to go so right now we're ready to initialize and preview our camera inside our surface view in my activity that's called which is here let's go back to it so here i'll create an object of rtc client and then here i'll initialize it like this as the application i'll just write application because i'm inside the activity as the username i'll just pass my username that came from the intent as the second repository i'll give it my second repository that i've created before and as the observer i can create an object of peer connection that observer and if you want to implement all these methods so you will see there is lots of them but i only need two of them so i'll decide to create a new class and call it peer connection observer it's going to be an open class and it's going to implement that peer connection that observer so i'll implement all of these methods here removing all of this to do and instead of implementing this i'll implement my own peer connection observer which is here and i'll just implement the members that i need using alt and insert and override methods so i'll just need an ice candidate and an add stream here and for these two i'll just pass exclamation marks so we have created our rtc client here and now i can use it and give my local surface view renderer and also start local video using binding dot local view so if i want to check it i'm going to need my camera permission and audio permission 
So to do that, I'll give the permission to my application. And in the next video, I'll handle it programmatically. So for now, let's run our app and check if our RTC client is already working. I'll write my name here and you'll see it's working. It's rendering my camera inside the surface view. So that's it for this video. 